Yeah, so, so we post uh, Purdue on Sunday, and they're calling it the, the promotions, the big game. They're giving out uh, pizza for the first 250 fans and also doing a raffle for a 40-inch TV. Uh, Purdue uh, played Maryland last night pretty tough uh, at their place and uh, is, is a very talented team. Um, with us, excited about uh, the way our freshmen are playing. Brandy's had uh, 49 points in the last two games. Allie Andrews has had double figures the uh, last few games as well, and both of those have, has, have played really well and, and getting better. And uh, we're excited to uh, be at home on Sunday, and I thought we played a great first half against Michigan. Uh, need to play two halves like that, and if we can do that, we can win some basketball games here. Yeah, I think we've come a long way, honestly. And that's obviously when we're as young as we are and 90% and of our scoring is coming from freshmen, sophomores, uh, we, we've grown a great deal. And there's still a lot of ups and downs uh, with our team. Um, but we're so much better today than we were a month ago. And, uh, and we're growing and getting better. And I think the future is really bright with these freshmen. Um, two of our uh, incoming players for next year are, are killing it and having McDonald All-American type years. So uh, I think the future is really bright. And we just got to keep getting better. And, and I was really proud of our team, you know, because I thought uh, in our tough road that we, we played really hard and played really uh, with a lot of passion against Michigan. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we take it a little bit different than some of the other returning freshmen. Her and Alex are really kind of the ones that maybe the day after a game are a little bit different than some of the other players. Um, you know, Brandy's just is such a tough kid that she wants to be on the court. Uh, you know, she doesn't ever ask to come out and uh, she just she responds quickly. You know, when we get some kids, uh, they'll be tired and then you take a timeout and then they're still tired after the timeout. And Brandy seems to be a kid that can rejuvenate quickly and uh, doesn't need to necessarily come off the floor. The media timeouts and the fouls seem to be uh, enough for her. Um, obviously, we'll look to get, depending, Jalen's been sick and, and, uh, and been, we've had some foul trouble with Petra and then an injury with Petra the other day. Um, you know, it has caused the, the, just the inability to get Brandy off the floor, but we'd like to get her off the floor for a minute or two, maybe each half, um, just to give her a little bit of break if we can. But she doesn't seem to you know, need a, a whole lot much break. I mean, she's averaging 15 points in conference and uh, second on the team in rebounding, averaging over four assists. And her numbers, you know, she you could make a case for her being freshman of the year in our conference. Yeah, I think we, that's the one area we have to get better. Obviously, we, we struggle a little bit offensively at, at times, and I feel like we've gotten better there. We, we're, you know, our shot selection has been really important. I think that's something as a young team, you know, we have halves like against Michigan where we shoot it and, and Penn State, and we take really great shots, and then we'll come out the second half. And especially when the other team makes maybe a little run, I think they get the mentality like they had in high school, oh, I'm going to you know, get us back in this, and then we'll take some quick rush shots, and it's just it's a different level. So uh, I think that's the, the one thing offensively we got to get better at. Defensively, you know, we're going to switch up maybe a little bit more, not play uh, just zone and try to be a little bit more man focused and, and give that a little bit different look. They've gotten better. You know, that was one of the things with our freshmen. They just weren't ready to guard in the Big Ten and man. And now they've gotten better in practice. And I think we'll be able to switch it up a little bit more. Yeah, I think the one thing, just more Seti is you know, if she makes him go. And, she, and scoring wise, assist wise, the ball's in her hands, senior point guard. And I think the biggest thing is containing her. Because uh, she's just so dangerous getting going. Obviously, Perry and some others can do things. But I think that's, it starts with her and finding her and not letting her get in deep with her penetration and just you know, keeping her from getting in a rhythm because she can, she's at 31 and she'll have games where she has 10 assists and just she makes them go. And finding her early, Brandy will pick her up and, and be able to get the ball stopped and, and keep her in front so that she can't get, uh, break you down with her penetration.